Starfield! Yay! <laughs> awesome game. <laughs> oh, I don't know yet. Um, so, the first uh, positive previews of Starfield have made fans extremely hopeful for Bethesda's upcoming open-world RPG game. As the game uh, approaches its release date, the anticipation and excitement has reached unprecedented levels. Bethesda, not Bethesda, Bethesda. Bethesda Starfield has uh, touted as their most ambitious project yet, offering a vast sci-fi universe where players can choose their own path. However, with high expectations become potential pitfalls, and past disappointments like No Man's Sky and Cyberpunk, Punk, 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 Punk seventy seven, Cyberpunk, <laughs> uh, a cybernetic pancreas. Um, <laughs> And you throw pancakes at people. Yeah, at some pancras station. Um, uh, serve as, as cautionary trials. Uh, but despite the concerns about bugs early uh, and early negative reviews from those who haven't played the game yet, the overall sentiments is positive. IGN had an early hands-on review of the game in June, and it was overwhelmingly positive, boosting fans' further confidence. Um, it's going to be terrible, Pastor. All right. Well, do we trust IGN? That's the thing. Uh, right. So when it looked, at, uh, looking just a little bit deeper, I only trust them because they said the right thing, and this is my definition of how you know you're playing a really good game. Okay. Cool. All right. And they said this. Yeah. An hour felt like five minutes. Mm, okay. That is the most. That is the unless someone in marketing came up with that, which is possible. Mm. That is the most ringing endorsement I can hear. Because whenever I talk to someone who plays a game that they really enjoy, it's always a case of, why are you looking so tired? Well, I was playing so-and-so, uh, and before I knew it was two o'clock. <laughs> and I had to get to bed quick. Yeah, it's been a um, while since I've played a game like that. Oh, dude, I'm I, trying to think of games that i played like that. So it's like kind of uh, Rome Quake Total War. <laughs> Quake 3 Rail Arena for me. <laughs> uh, oh, it's, uh, what's it... Um, yeah, Quake, uh, not Quake, um, the Rome Total War games, I just got obsessed because mm. it was because I'd have a little fight and then I'd manage my entire empire and just make sure everything was perfect. And by that, that's an, that's an hour there, just have one fight and manage an empire just in a single turn. And then you'd, you'd, you'd go, let me just press the button, see, and then you go, oh, I've been attacked. And then you get caught in the big gameplay loop. So hearing that, that, that f an hour felt like five minutes, unless, it says, unless someone from the marketing department have done it. Um, yeah. but saying that it could do a No Man's Sky um, and saying that actually it sounds oh, right do you know what this reminds me of and this is sorry this is from the other one of the other podcasts reminds me of the the hype around the Flash film everyone was going on about the Flash film and it's going to be really good and this that and the other and, and they were trying to big it up and 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 at this point in time Warner Brothers needed a big hit. They got a big hit. It was Barbie, not The Flash. Yeah, that's bizarre. Xbox, Xbox needs a big hit. And I'm thinking... I don't know. They, they've, I, got I, I'm, I'm, right. they, they, they've got to. Um, it, I, I, I want to try and stay positive. I really do. I don't trust IGN, though. I'd, I'd prefer one of the... You know, smaller um, reviewers to give us an idea. Um, like idea, a, like not you, much. Like, like a YouTuber that does, or YouTubers, sorry, that do like video game reviews and news. Mm, Just yeah. saying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sends us a preview code. <laughs> wink, wink. Um, so, yeah, it's. But they're the only ones that have been been sent this. Which is also suspicious. Um, the only thing I will say is they they delayed it, didn't they? Um, and I would I would prefer them to delay it again if they feel it's not right. I mean, when was how long has it been? Was it a nine month delay? I'm trying to think when the original release date was. I, I can't I can't remember. I was like yeah. kind of ever since Fallout seventy six. Anything coming out in Bethesda, I'm like, <sighs> um, and and that, this is weird because then I look back at uh, Halo Infinite, similar thing, which I enjoyed playing. 
I haven't finished it yet, but I I did enjoy playing, but I didn't pay for it. That's that's the other thing. When yeah, you get something well, that's, that's, that's changes that's your opinion, just... doesn't it? does change your opinion and they're going to miss not having those sales from the ps5 they really are if they're clever they'll bring it out a year later simple just bring it out a year later and, and have it done uh, because they're, they're going to miss those things i've noticed that in the xbox store they are trying to sell you extra bits for um uh, starfield there's like a 40 pound package to get loads of stuff for starfield and things. oh yeah skins and things and to get yeah. it a day early, that sort of thing. Yeah, um, you see, I, I, things like that bother me. I mean, if if advertisement, I don't know if there, there is any big advertisements out there. I haven't seen it, but if it starts appearing on buses and on billboards, then I will be worried because mm. they tend to over advertise games that tend to either don't work or or are broken. I remember Cyberpunk being all over billboards and on buses, and obviously when that came out. It was a bit of a, a bit of a car crash on uh, on consoles. Not so much on PC though. Not so much on PC. I I I, 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 I mean, I did day that. one. Yeah, yeah. I, I suppose people had different experiences because there's different different PC setups, isn't there? Mm. But uh, yeah, I mean, I had no installation problem. It played as much as I, I played of it anyway. Yeah, there was yeah there was bugs. They were funny. They were funny bugs, but for me, they weren't. I suppose they were immersion breaking rather than game breaking, um, mm. but uh, Cyberpunk's in a good, you know, in a good state now. It's still not to the. Um, but there's an origi original there's an, scope, but there is another major patch coming out for it for when they bring out the Phantom Liberty thing with uh, Idris Elba. So yeah. they are gonna. There's going to be a significant update then, which is supposed to fix a load of things and add some more, more stuff in there. So I imagine yeah. it's going to be about a hundred gig patch at the end of yeah. the day. Because that know could that also break, up. as we know, that could also break things as well. Mm. All right. But, uh, no, staying positive with uh, Starfield still. Just don't trust IGN. Okay, fair enough. Uh, next story. <laughs> 